happening right now. on the Zoom and here at Lord Pfizer Court. We're starting another season of Real Fishing Radio. What do you think? Are the good old days long gone or are they here now? You know, Bob, this is our 19th year, and I think the fishing is better in year 19 than it was back in year one. Well, I'll tell you, I know a lot more than I did, say, 19 years ago when we started this program. The fact is, though, that less people are fishing, too. Fishing license sales have been uh, decreasing across the country over the years, and I don't know why. We've got great angling opportunities right across the country. And, you know, with some of the enlightened conservation measures now, new slot limits, minimum maximum size limits, things like that, the fish have responded. They're getting bigger. Total Summerfest 2011. And it's in the town of? Yeah. And it's a good experience. Uh, the two people that put this on, and of course they have volunteers that help them as well. But I'm going to introduce them to you right now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, welcome to the stage John and Helen Delicata. These guys work 12 months of the year to put this on, not just a couple of weeks before Summerfest. It is a almost a full-time job for them, and I know that Helen does not give up. She's on the phone, on the phone, on the phone, making things happen. But this, these people here, please thank them for a wonderful job in your community. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, I'm going to simply, he needs no introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Azumi. Let me just adjust the sharing. I look bigger on TV, somebody said to me the other day. For wide-angle lenses, they put on weight. I tell people it's all natural. I don't I don't work out, okay? This is all natural. Okay, here we go. It is really a pleasure to be here, folks. I uh, um, I travel almost 300 days a year. I averaged about 300 uh, for, I don't know, probably 25, 26 years. I've cut back to about 280. I'm on the road now. I uh, fish a lot of tournaments, uh, do a lot of different types of functions, shoot the TV series, work on the magazine, do the radio show, and uh, I've got the best job in the world. There's no complaints. I, uh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have done what I've done now since 1979, and uh, life is good. And uh, when I came up here this morning and saw all those smiling faces out there catching perch and rock bass and all kinds of critters off the uh, pier, I thought to myself, you know what? This is a good day, and the rain's holding off for us. And, and you know, I, um, I've been involved in a lot of different events over the year, and, and this is one of 65 Kids, Cops, and Canadian Tire events that we, uh, we are involved in across uh, Canada. And these things just don't happen, like, automatically. When, when I look at uh, John and Helen here, I realize how much work goes into putting an event like this on. I also would like to say that it's awesome that, you know, parents, aunts, uncles, grandparents, step-parents, uh, neighbors, whoever have brought kids here today to fish. I just want to say thank you very much for keeping these kids involved in fishing. It's, it's wonderful that you take time out of your busy schedules and bring the, the youth out to enjoy fishing. And uh, um, I think it's wonderful to see. I, uh, I'm so happy to see these events going on all over. And, uh, and speaking of which, I, uh, I understand that you guys have been working pretty hard on the sponsors. I, uh, I just see this list here, and I'm just going to real quickly go through the list of uh, sponsors for this year's uh, 2011 event, because uh, there's a number of them. First of all, our men in uniform here, the South Simcoe Police. It's great that you're here. It's a lot better seeing you here than pulling us over on the roads. <laughs> um, not say I've ever been pulled over this week. Okay. <laughs> Zoom the Outdoors, uh, we, we like to get involved in these. Uh, Canadian Tire at Maple View in Barrie, uh, Royal Bank in Alcona, Rex Building Materials in Toronto, um, Natino Group Contractors in Alcona, uh, Presto Appliance Repairs Alcona, Raymond Electrical Toronto, People's Credit Union Stroud, John's No Frills Alcona, Simcoe Trophies Barrie, um, 
Fork in Plate Restaurant, Elkona, CW Coops, Elkona, Rod's Essel, Elkona, Sandy Cove Marina down the road in Innisville, and Sobeys in Elkona all chipped in to help this event uh, happen as well. And uh, that's wonderful that they, uh, they're stepping up to the plate. Now, I see a lot of prizes out there. I mean, this is uh, this is quite an event. Come on over here, John. You gotta you gotta help me out here. How 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 are you giving all these prizes out? How's this work? Well, uh, our job is to collect donations, and um, we spend every penny of it. Make sure it all gets back to the kids. And uh, you know, we've had generous offers, and uh, my wife works tirelessly to make sure that. Uh, Every kid gets a prize whether they catch a fish or not. Then, and I'll work my way up to the, the top three, and then uh, you can announce the top three. How's that? Hey, okay, sound, sounds good to me. I, uh, uh, how many kids now are going to get prizes? How many of you got here this year? Do we have a final number? 168. 168. 168 kids. That's pretty good. That's awesome. All right. Well, let's get started and see uh, what we got going on here. I, uh, I see some pretty nice, uh, pretty nice stuff sitting out there. Yeah. Yeah, we do have some great prizes, uh, and I just want to say that that, that I'm I'm kind of overwhelmed over here because the gentleman that's standing behind me here has been an idol of mine since I was a little kid. Um, you know, back. You know, times were different back then, and we only had what 16 channels, and I would flip them back and forth tirelessly till I found the Bob Azumi show, and I think a lot of people from my generation feel that way too. So. Um, we're very blessed to have you here, I want to say that. And uh, it, It's good that you're younger than me because when I grew up we had three TV stations in uh, southwestern Ontario, so uh, you're really dating me, but 16 sounds pretty good, that almost almost sounds digital. Almost, almost. Um, but yeah, I just want to thank you again, really from the bottom of my heart. This, uh, I, I'm overwhelmed because, like I said, the only time I've ever met you and spent time with you was as a competitor. And uh, no offense, but when you're a competitor, I just don't look at you the same because I want to beat you. <laughs> um, but today it's for the kids, and uh, I really am overwhelmed. And again, um, we're very blessed to have you here. Okay, are you guys ready? For 10th place with 85 points, Virginia Lamoureux. Okay, ninth place with 90 points. Colin Ricker. In eighth place with 95 points, Brady Wilson. In seventh place with 95 points, William Hawkshalley. And in sixth place with 115 points, Bruce DeVoe. In fifth place with 115 points, Vincent Rushika. And in fourth place, with 140 points, another familiar name which is here year after year and we appreciate it, Sabrina Stallone. Okay, third place here. We've got, uh, with 160 points, Matthew Harrell. Second place, 165 points. Pretty close one there. Xavier Demida. Okay, and... First place in the boys for the girls division with 200 points, Joey Krupa. Looks like Joey was doing a little sight fishing. He's got his polarized glasses on, spotting fish. Early season sight fishing, we know what that's all about, eh, John? Yep, spotting those fish. Age group seven to nine now, and we start with. Uh, 10th place with 105 points, Grayson Scott. And in 9th place with 110 points, Trenton Pisey. In 9th place with 110 points, Anthony Ventimiglio. Okay, and now in 8th place, and again we apologize for this, with 125 points, Nick Sacco. Okay, seventh place with 130 points, 
Anthony Trozo. And in sixth place, with 150 points, Mason Bent. And in fifth place, with 160 points, another familiar name, Charles Krupa. In fourth place, with 175 points, Cheyenne McCallum. Uh, third place, uh, 175 points, Lucas Norman. And in second place, with 175 points, Nicholas Ferraro. And the winner with 435 points, Matthew Ventimiligo. That was a rock. Oh, rock bass, huh? That's pretty good. You catch a rock bass, you take home a bicycle. Okay, in 10th place, with 120 points, Adam White. And in 9th place, with 120 points also, Cody Henry. In 8th place, with 125 points, another familiar name, Amber Lamoureux. In 7th place, with 130 points, Wesley Kudo. In sixth place with 130 points, Emma Penn. And in fifth place with 165 points, Ava Van Wart. In fourth place with 180 points, another one from the Stallone clan, Anthony Stallone. All righty, third place, 190 points. Julio Diamidiola. Okay, second place, 340 points. Big jump there. Arun Sinai. Okay, now for first place, 435 points. A lot of points there. Dario Vetkoski. All right. Dario. He's going to be riding home in style there. This is a really good event, and I like this. This, uh, this is uh, one of the better events I've been to. And, and, you know, we got 65 of these kids' events around. I, I mean, seeing these guys go off with bicycles and rods and reels, and everybody wins a prize. I like this. A lot better payout than the tournaments we fish. <laughs> okay, your 2011 Innisfil Summerfest Kids Fishing Derby overall champion with a catfish of 485 points, Madison Nome. You know.